Good morning, so today we're heading up to Ben Moore and Stob Binion near Korean Lari. You see Ben Moore rising straight up ahead of us here. There's no messing about with this one. You go straight from the road, pretty much up the hill, very steeply up to a summit that's over 1100 meters high. So it's quite a climb up. But yeah, should be good. It's starting to warm up now. And uh, expecting to be quite a, a warm and sweaty climb but our sun hats on as the sun gets stronger because it's a beautiful sunny day once again hopefully we we'll encounter some snow higher up we've got our crampons and ice axes ready but most of the way up we can see here is going to be clear so we'll see what it's like higher up I'm hoping for a good day out oh it's a steep old climb this one it is straight up straight up from the from the car and the get-go um, although a fairly easy track to follow but still constant stepping up on the stones is uh, still quite challenging especially with the sun bearing down on you but it's going to be worth the effort and as you can see you've got some beautiful views already across to the smaller locks down at the bottom of the glen as you can see a steep climb up ahead there's a few others ahead on the track but we seem to be gaining on them swiftly <laughs> there well I say that was we're still going um it's been a steep slug up but i must admit there's something very i don't know um thrilling about stomping up a mountain something that makes me feel rather alive and uh we're just looking around our horizon plotting where we're going to go next and particularly eyeballing that beautiful uh munro straight ahead of us pretty much if you follow the, the river down with a kind of narrowish ridge that looks quite appealing. Let's double check on the map which one that is. Yes, and it looks like, well, we've just got a very clear day today, so we can see for miles beyond, which is beautiful, particularly out west, which is nice and clear. Um, we've still got quite a steep, as you can see, if you look, well, we've still got quite a steep ascent to go and the sun is very, very warm. So let's hope we can find some fresh water on the way back down or at least between the two manrows. Cause I'm getting rather parched. We had to cross one very steep icy snow slope to get to the summit of Benmore, which saw us feel the need to don the crampons. for the first of two times that we'll do today because uh, after we go down and up Stobbinian Yep, Stobbinian's next and then we have to come back up and over this one before we head back down but it's as calm as anything up here we had a bit of a breeze on the um, final bit of the ascent but it's beautifully calm up here got some really clear views across to the west although there are some bits of light cloud coming in now just off the other side of the summit but it was a uh, yeah tough tough going and we put, had to put the crampons on for the last bit of the slope because it was just looking well we looked at the group ahead and it was just they were slipping and sliding all over the place so we put the crampons on for the last little steep bit of a snow patch um, and yeah that's number 21 done for me we can see number oh yeah 
19 and 20 just over there. Ben, Vorle and Stuckercroin poking up beautifully to our east. Significantly less now on them than the last time we uh, were there or when we were there last the other, the other week. It's been a significant snow melt you can see. Unfortunately we do not have summit to ourselves this time. A group of lads gathered around the trig but as you'll do this twice you might well have it to ourselves on the return leg. The scenery looked almost alpine on the descent from Benmore towards Dobbinion and the strengthening sun even felt quite warm on the south facing slope. The Crown Ponds came out again for the longer but rather wetter snow slope on the ascent to Stog Binion. Number 22 in the bag, and that is Stade Binyang. Um, so we had our crampons on for the last bit, so we have quite a beautiful ice slope to navigate. Um, although we had to navigate some of this last bit without them, um, with them on, without any snow. But yeah, it's uh, a little bit breezy up here t today, but all in all, pretty fantastic conditions, really. I don't think we could have asked for a better day. There's some more cloud building up around, but I think that we've had the best part of the day. Um, we've still got a lovely long slog back up to... Uh, ben Moore. Ben Moore. <laughs> My memory for these names is atrocious. Um, which will be, yeah, a bit of a slog, but... All in all, beautiful day. You can see across... If I turn around... You can see across to the Ben, well, across the Ben Nevis and the Nevis Range and the Grey Corries, and also just stunning view of some equally beautiful Munros. It's a beautiful set for you next. Are these ones to the west here? It's a chain of about four or five Munros right next to us here dappled in snow. 
we're in the highest two of the Korean Larvik hills here, but these other ones just to the west here form a nice challenge. Just a stunning day. That is the world's most beautiful snow slope <laughs> hanging off the ridge to the south here. Stunning. Our old classics to the east here. Ben Vorlich and Stucker Croyen looking resplendent in the sunshine. Yeah, Loch Tay and Ben Laws rising above it. Plenty more Munros to explore in the coming weeks and months. Gotta keep adding them on. And working our way up through the list. Going further and further beyond as we go. So just looking, seeing and enjoying a lovely pineapple cake. ourselves this time but the weather's so lovely that there's barely any wind so just with our jackets on sun hats we can sit and enjoy and take in all the all the views it just looks absolutely beautiful everywhere you look um, sadly not quite as much as snow in the scenery as there was last time but you never know this is Scotland we could see some more snowfall again but yeah just Absolute wilderness and absolute beauty. You can't really be in a better place, I don't think. Again. Yep. Time to get down to a t-shirt. The minute I start going up that beast, I'm gonna get very warm indeed. And it's a beast indeed. Back up Ben Moore for the second time. Hoping to get the summit to ourselves this time for some time with the trig point. Let's do this. Bella, one more time. I don't normally worry about people, but I don't worry about him. He's like ten stairs. <laughs> I'm aging now. Nothing but the sound of water, is there, Pipits? Nope. Absolute blissful silence of the wilderness. Um, still got quite a bit to go but we've done a lot of the steep stuff so hopefully it will be over, the last bit of climbing will be done and then it's just for the steep descent down but just a beautiful view now, the sun's creating some beautiful shadows on the nearby Munros, particularly those just to the right of where we are.
<laughs> Yay! <sighs> Back up. Summer Binye more once again. Second time round, this time we have it to ourselves. Hope decided to take the slightly more scrambly route up to the trig for fun because it's the last bit of up I have to do now and I'm sure it's calmer than it was earlier. It's beautiful. Almost no wind at all now. And of course saying hi to the trig we missed earlier. Yay Triggy! of the summiting done. We've just come down off the final um, steep snow slope that we've got for today and now we've got quite a long steep descent ahead which you can't really even see as it's that steep. Um, heading back down to the car and yeah all in all that's number 22 done and actually technically I did that one twice because we had to re-summit them as we came back over. And it's been a yeah fantastic day. I've really enjoyed it. It's up there with one of my favourites, I think. And just got to prepare myself now for the final bit going down. We're just about to take our crampons off because it's running out of snow. And I think we're going to be treated to some beautiful skies as the sun sets over the horizon, over to those snowy peaks to our west. So yeah. All in all, a great day I would say. <laughs>